Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Node.js with MySQL APIs. This is our part 6. Inside this video session guys, we will see about how can we create and load custom modules that is user modules in Node.js. In the last video, we had seen that how can we use and load about core modules provided by Node.js. So back to editor. Now inside last video, these are the two modules actually we had seen. Now let's see that how can we load and create our own custom modules. So if I get rid of all these things from here and pre in the previous videos, we also discussed about what basically custom modules are. So every single JavaScript file inside Node.js application, it seems to be a module. So here app.js is the module. Now if we run any file inside our terminal something node and the file name then the, that file name is the main module of that application. Otherwise rest of the JS file is our modules. Now let's see that if we are going to define a new file inside our application let's say something user dot js now inside this module firstly i am to define some properties let's say that where simply let's say first name is all about let's say online web and something again we are going to define another variable something last name and let's say tutor now if we want to export some variables or expose to another modules then inside our previous video we had learned about that. So something we need to write module dot exports as we know that module is a variable which is for the current module which exposed all the variables all its properties and the methods reusable to other modules. Now we are going to use called the f name means first name and the last name inside app.js. So we need to make export here. So module.exports dot let's say first name something first name equal to and it will return about f name. Again let's say module dot exports dot last name equal to let's say l name here. Now we have successfully exported. If I back to terminal and listen node user.js sorry not user.js again let's say console.log if I write console.log and simply write module here which is a variable for this module listen node user.js now inside this module we can see inside exports we have two properties called first name and the last name now these are the properties basically exposed when we use this module to any of the modules so back to app.js now firstly we need to include this file or include this module to this app.js so let's say where something user equal to and as we know from the previous lecture that if we need to include any module we need to use require function so inside this require function we need to pass the file name as an argument so let's say that either we can specify the directory means current directory something user.js this is also valid if i copy pasting it here either we can write simply user here it is also valid and let's say that our modules is supposed to be stored inside subdirectories then we need to specify something like this now this is the way to load our module inside this now let's say that we are at the current directory and as we know that the user module is right here so successfully we have included that so let's load it user module now if we suppose we are going to use the values called the first name and the last name go here and let's say console 
dot log something I'm going to write user here this is the user variable what we have written here so save all these changes back to terminal and let's note app.js now inside this and firstly let's clear out clear about all these things and before we need to get it off this console.log here now save all these changes simply we have made files declare some variables and exported now inside this app.js simply we had loaded and we are consoling about the user so go here node app.js now we can see that inside our user we have called the first name and the last name which has the respective values so let's see that how can we retrieve these values so simply let's say that if we want to get the first name so we need to write user dot and as we can see that IntelliSense says that we have two properties available so first name save all these changes concatenating with let's say user dot last name user dot last name here so if we save all these changes back to terminal run this file the online web tutor is the complete name about concatenating like first name and the last name which is available inside this user.js and one more thing that we need to remember in our mind is that the properties actually we have used is something the name what we have specified here one more question we have inside this app.js that why we are using var here so simply why not actually we are using const here now for the better performance we always use const here instead of var let's say that why we can use const while declaring any variable as the module so let's say that I'm going to assign one more variable simply let's say avr user simply let's say that sample name but as we know that this user is the returned object all the module export variables what we have return return inside this module now we have again re-sliced or override all the values now if I make comment of this line or simply let's say console.log user here now simply if I back to terminal and run this file as we are getting the sample name now let's suppose that we have thousands of lines of code inside our main module inside that module suppose we have used some variable to store our exported values from the respective module but in some lines we have overwritten or re-sliced but while using this as we can see here that all values now erased from our memory so for the better practice actually we have to use call the const here while using const as with this variable name we are not able to going to re sliced or override the value why let's see that it is going to return an error back to terminal run this file now as we can see that identifier user has already been declared it's because it is a constant variable and constant variable basically contains a value or can be declared with any value for the first time we can't re-inslice that its value throughout the application remains constant so that's why always when we require or when we load any module then values must be loaded inside a constant variable so that we cannot use that variable again or re-inslice or override that values again so simply if we write console.log run our application now we are getting about the two object that is returned apart from user.js means two properties now let's see that if I make one more file let's say student.js now inside this I am to write let's say module dot exports and let's say here something is student 
and right here I am to make an object. Now inside this object, basically I am going to store several properties and the method. Firstly, let's say about name property. I am going to let's say write my name, channel, let's say email address, And also, if we suppose write and instead of name, let's say first name. And also, if I write about last name and something I'm going to pass this value and one more function or the method we are going to define inside this student, let's say about full name. And this is going to return, let's return about this dot first name concatenating let's say this dot l name now basically while calling this function we are going to return about the full name that is first name concatenating with the value with the last name so either we can write module.expose or from the previous lecture simply we can write exports dot student it will work same now inside this module if i write console.log module here save all these changes back to terminal and run this node student.js now as we can see inside this exports property we have an object called student now inside this student object we have property called first name last name channel email address and we have a function now let's see that how can we use all these behaviors in our app.js so firstly let's make comment of this line go to app.js get rid of all these things let's say const student equal to let's say require inside this for the current directory let's say student now we have successfully loaded about our module inside app.js now to check all the available properties and the methods inside this let's say console.log student back to terminal run this file sorry it's not it's something node app.js now basically student contains a list of properties something a student object inside this we have a first name last name channel email and the full name as a function so if we want to get about the channel name we need to write let's say student dot student dot and as we can see here all the functions and the properties as now listed here so let's say channel so save this file back to terminal run this file now we are getting the channel also if you want to get the full name so instead of channel if we type dot here and we have an option called full name so this is a function so we need to write it here go to terminal run this application now we are getting about the full name now as you can see here we need to write student dot student now we need to write only student here so how can we write so back to student dot js now instead of exporting about the student object i am going to simply export this whole object so back to app dot js get rid of all these values back again here listen note app.js now we are returning a simple object instead of this student object so simply we need to write let's say student dot first name we will get all about the first name here as we can see if we pass about the email we can get about the email address only and if suppose we want to get about the full name so all we have to pass something this and we will get about the full name into the terminal now inside this video session guys we understood about how can we create and load our user defined modules inside node.js application so inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.